Hi, this is Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, a premier executive resume writing company. And thank you so much for joining me today. So today we're gonna to talk about how to use the summer to shore up your career. Gotta love the pun, right? <laughs> anyway, so the summer, should you job search? Should you not not job search? Or, um, you know, it, it, this, is how, this is what I'm gonna tell you. So you may have watched last week's video. If you haven't, I'm gonna suggest, suggest that you do. Um, but you can do it after watching this, but, um, here's how you can use the summer. So you can choose the job search and it is, you know, while it may be slower in terms of volume of, of open jobs, it is also, uh, a time period where there's fewer candidates because people either need a break or they assume it's slow so they don't search. So you're up against less candidates if you do job search, but you can also take this time to not job search. But I do suggest that you use the summer then to shore up uh, different aspects of your marketing and your network for your for for basically in, uh, improving the stability of your career and preparing yourself to be ahead of the pack in the fall, in September. Everyone's going to start looking for a job in some way or another, September, October, you know, and and be prepared. I would say they're going to start being prepared at that point you can use this time period over the next two months to be prepared to hit the ground running in September when everyone else starts to get ready in September. And you can do it at your own pace. You know, you have you know eight to 10 weeks um, until you know the middle of September. And this way you're not rushing. You can sleep on, you know, think you can sleep on messaging, you can sleep on things and not rush to put things out there when you haven't really totally been comfortable with it by noodling on a little bit. Um, so that's my suggestion to you is use the summer to essentially shore up the different areas of marketing and your branding for your career so you can have a stable career. You know, job stability does not rely with your employer. It relies within you. And that doesn't mean you're gonna stay in your job for the next 30 years. It's, it's a job stability is really income stability. And that comes down to you having the ability to land another job, AKA another income quickly. So you do that by having your network nurtured. So start talking to people this summer and it doesn't have to be about a job. It doesn't have to be about your career. Just literally number one, make a list of people you would wanna reach out to, maybe people you haven't talked to in a while, co-workers who left and you've lost touch with, um, you know, college um, individuals, either local alumni groups with people you don't know, people you used to go to school with, um, vendors you used to work with maybe at a prior job, you, you really enjoyed working with them, but then when they job changed or you job changed, you lost contact with them, so maybe reach out to them. So the first thing to do is really create a list of people you just wanna talk to this summer. Just Again, really, it's always better to talk to people when you don't need them, right? You're just interested and curious and wanting to touch base and see what they're up to. So that's always a better thing to do during the summer. So do that. Um, and then the second thing is to just get your LinkedIn and uh, resume ready. Just you know, do an inventory of your current skill set. Do uh, a listing of your current achievements on how well you've done each of those items on your skill set list. Uh, because that's how you're going to compete. You know, whatever level you're at, you're going to be competing with people at your level who have similar skill sets, you know, have done similar positions as you are, you have. And how a, hi a hiring manager tells the difference between who they should be speaking to is how well you've each done the job. And if you can articulate on paper and verbally and via email, how, you know, in a written way, via your resume, your profile in a static way, um, as well as in a dynamic way through an email exchange and an, a dynamic way verbally. You wanna make sure you have your interview stories and your resume bullets outlining your achievements and you can speak to that because that's how you're gonna set yourself apart. So make sure you get your marketing documents ready. And then the third thing is to use this time to take stock of what you're interested in. Take some time to look out past your profession, past your industry, see where your skill sets and your interests can be used elsewhere and just explore, you know, start to learn what you don't know, you don't even know, right? And, and learn new things. 
you may then either find um, a whole new appreciation for where you're at and now you're staying where you are with conviction or you'll find a whole new path in which to now apply your skill sets that'll invigorate you for that next job whenever you start to job search. But you're not doing this under the gun, right? You're not doing this because you have to. You can use this summer if you don't want a job search to do some of that preliminary work in a completely proactive exploratory way. So then if you end up do needing to do it, some of that work is already done and it's done with a clear head and a clear mind and without any pressure of having to do it. Um, and now you have that information for when you need it. So just remember, job stability lies within your preparedness. That's the key. And so it does lie within you. You can't help being laid off. You can't help a merger and acquisition that puts you in an unfavorable, in unfavorable position. You, you know, you can't help um, economic conditions that surround your, your job, your profession, or your industry, or your geographic location. But you can take stock of yourself and you can be ready. And so if you are choosing not to job search this summer, I encourage you to use this time to shore up, gotta use that, that analogy again, um, to shore up all the different aspects of your personal branding and your yourself in order to be ready for the fall. So with that said, if you'd like to join me for my next uh, free resume writing training session, I'm gonna have that next week. So uh, be sure to use the link below and register, share it with anyone who you know will also wanna be ready uh, for the fall and get ready during this time during the summer, or they're, they're already job searching and they just need to get it done quickly or they need, or they, maybe they're not getting results from their current resume and they need to do it better and differently. So share that with them. Uh, if you have any comments, I'm going to ask you to comment below, or if you have any questions, you can email me or DM me. My email is lr.chameleonresumes.com, and um, subscribe to the channel, so this way you do not miss next week's video, and I hope you have a great week. Until next week, take good care.